In this video, we'll be using Munchies Plat Pronto to subdivide a track using a cul-de-sac. The first step is that we'll be opening an existing survey. This survey has five calls and five corners. We'll first go ahead and click on the Home Window button and we'll draw a window and zoom in around the, the track that we need to subdivide to make it as large as possible. Now here's the track that we're going to subdivide. Next step is that we need to enter an entrance roadway. Click on Survey, Subdivision Highway, accept the default settings with the road width of 40 feet. It'll snap to the boundary. We'll draw one segment out into the middle. Click Escape to stop drawing the roadway. Then go up and click Cul-de-sac, accept the default settings, OK, and draw our cul-de-sac. Next, we're going to have to define a track that excludes the entrance roadway and the cul-de-sac. So we click on Lot Lines, accept the default name of Lot 2, we can change that later, and click on the corner points and the calls that will define our track. So we start with this point, go to the next point, click on the call, 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 point, point. Point, 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 and back to the beginning point. There we have our track fully defined. Let's turn off lot one. Let's go to settings and let's just select track data only because we want to just see the track itself. Next, go back to survey and go to the subdi big subdivide button and click on that. We're going to hold the control key down because we're going to lock it in place as we draw the division lines. So we'll start here, draw a line across, boom, we have two lots here, three, here, four, here, five, and here, six and we have our subdivision with the cul-de-sac and really that's all there is to it if we want to we'll go back out and zoom out so we see the entire plat with the subdivision on it and that's how easy it is to create a subdivision uh, if you don't like this particular subdivision you can always control Z and back out of the calls and redraw it again We'll do that again just to show you how it easy, easy it is to do this. Okay, so we've actually done it twice, but it's pretty easy to redo it. You can do it as many times as necessary to get the layout that you're that you're looking for. And that's all there is to it. If you have uh, any more questions, please visit our website and watch other videos on various other topics. Thank you for watching this video.